Hey there, it's Mike with Kimmy Cloud back with another great video. How to log into your account via SSH. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. How to connect to your server using SSH in Windows 10. And how to connect to your server using the built-in terminal in cPanel. Let's begin. In this section, I'll show you how to connect to your server using SSH in Windows 10. We'll be using the popular terminal application PuTTY to connect to the server, so you'll need to download that and install it before we begin. I've put a link to download PuTTY in the video description for your convenience. Note you'll also need to have a generated SSH key from within your cPanel downloaded to your computer. If you aren't familiar with how to do that, I've put a link to how to generate an SSH key in the video description for you as well. First, let's open PuTTY. After PuTTY is open, click the plus icon next to the word SSH in the menu of options on the left-hand side of the application. Once expanded, click off. We need to give PuTTY the location of our private key for connecting to the server. To do this, click the Browse button located here and locate the private key file you downloaded from your cPanel. Next, click Session at the top left of PuTTY. On this screen, we need to enter the IP address of the server on which your account is hosted, along with the port number we want to use for connecting. If you host with Kimmy Cloud, you need to use port 1988. Next, we need to save this configuration so that we don't have to repeat these steps every time we open PuTTY. In PuTTY, the configuration is called a session. To save our session, Click the text box beneath Save Sessions and give the configuration a name of your choosing. I'm calling mine cchostingdemos.com because that's the website account I'm connecting to. Then click Save. Now the next time you open PuTTY, this configuration will be here and all you need to do is click Open. Let's connect to the server now to test our configuration by clicking Open. The first time you connect, you'll see this warning. Don't worry, this is normal, just click Yes. And here we're asked for the user ID for connecting. After entering the passcode that unlocks the private key, you can see that we have established our connection. And that concludes this section on connecting to your server using PuTTY in Windows 10. In the next section, I'll show you how to connect to the server using the terminal in your cPanel. In this section, I'll show you how to connect to the server using the built-in terminal in cPanel. First, you need to open your cPanel. As you can see, mine is already open. Next, you need to scroll down to the Advanced area and then click Terminal. The terminal interface will open and you'll be automatically connected. The cPanel terminal is really handy if you're on a different system and don't have a terminal emulator like PuTTY handy. And that's a wrap. All right, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll probably enjoy our hosting services even more. Kimmy Cloud offers the best customer service in the industry, along with a fast, secure, and reliable cloud hosting platform all backed up by five-star public reviews from our own customers. Try us out for 45 days worry-free. We're so confident that you'll be satisfied with our services. If you're not happy, you get your money back. We look forward to bringing you more video tutorials in the coming weeks. Have a great day and be sure to subscribe to our channel.